<laughs> hey guys, you're one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. We're out at the racetrack today. I want to finish off this tunnel. Uh, get some stone bricks on the side, make it look nice. Might even put a little cover on it so it doesn't look like just it sort of cuts into the ground. I want to join it up with that road, which means moving that pillar out of the way. And then I want to lay out like another estate here. Similar to this one, these style houses. So this is the sort of um, budget end of the city. You know, we've got the nice residential estate over there. We've got some mansions up on the hill. And these ones are your sort of really affordable. We called it slums earlier on in this series. And I think that still sort of sticks. You know, this is the sort of troublesome area. The gun shop's right there. We've got a couple of sort of derelict parks that aren't really used, at least not by the right people. Um, I haven't been in this gun shop for ages. Let's actually have a look in here. Yeah, I've got the weapons traders and stuff. Very um, based off ammunition, you know, from, from Grand Theft Auto. So it's like the, the um, guns behind the counter, the ammo in the glass cabinet. And then we've got a gun range out the back here. Actually, I'm, I still like this, even after this much time after, after building it. But yeah, so all the houses in this sort of plot here are going to be very similar to these. Broken fences, maybe. Overgrown um yards you know where they haven't sort of mowed them and stuff like that uh bicycles old vehicles and stuff uh you know pods are not really driveways with tarmac and stuff plus they're really easy and fast buildings to build so we should be able to fill this area up relatively quickly so first things first let's join the road up to there now i think that post is just is it going to be in the way i think it's literally going to be in the, in the way by one block whoop whoa Turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit low. <laughs> there. And. Um, oh, poop. I'm going to have to sort of do a little bit of rejig. So if I go here, I can't see anything. But don't worry. I'll turn these off. I can see a little bit more. Cut. Undo. I lost my. I lost my me line cut paste minus a okay now it looks like i made a huge mess but it's just because that they're built into slabs it makes it like really awkward to to cut okay so there's a little bit of structural moving done it's always scary when you're cutting stuff that big Oh, and I missed a couple of blocks. What a poop. That one and that one. That one and that one. But I got it all on the other side. Okay, so let's now move that pillar just out of the way enough for us to be able to get the road going through here. So we can go from there to... Keep on the line, keep on the line, keep on the line. There. Set stone. And then join this up. Uh, it's already got really how is that line there it's, it's just one block out of where I actually need it to be that's so strange right and then I need the arrows going the other way I'll just go and grab them from over here <laughs> yoink because uh, I never remember which one I need so, and then I need to start over here because these have already got the lines on them. And put the lines going down here. So I need that one to go to that one. And then it's every, I think it's every two normally on a straight. So we'll, we'll miss two, put two, miss two, put two, miss two, put two. Like this all the way down. I'm not going to put uh, double yellow lines on either side of the road here. You're going to be able, allowed to park on the side of the road here so I'm just gonna put like oops like that and like that excellent it's joined up at last you can actually get to the uh, racetrack now um, we're gonna put the path in down the side here uh, there's a quicker way to do it isn't there there to there set 44.6 got it right and that one to here 
Now I need to have that one, a wall, and a red for the stop sign that we have on every junction. We'll try to have on every junction. I've, do I need ones on here on these getting out parts? I should really. I didn't think I'd ever forgotten any, but I might have. That's it. That'll be an out. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Excellent. Now, let's tune up this tunnel a little bit, right? I think I want to have a cover over it as well, so it looks like it sort of goes into a tunnel instead of just disappearing into the ground. And uh, I'm thinking for that, we're going to have to have a slab that goes up at the same rate as the... I might use uh, another block as well. At the same rate as the road does. Yeah, clay. Clay and quartz slab. And so we'll start off like this. Maybe just in the middle. And then it goes up a slab for three. Every three it goes up. So we have one, two, three. And then get out of here. Two, three. And then so it goes up and then below. Two, three. Two, three. Three. And I should, you should be able to drive under here still, I'm hoping. Three. Two, three. Oh, that's a, that should be one more block of slab, shouldn't it? Like that. To make it three there. And then. One. Two, three. So that's all going to be quartz. And then on the edge, we just go down like this. So the sort of uh, clay parts go down in sixes, and the quartz go down in threes. Like that. And I think that'll make a really nice edging. Let me do that, I'll be back. Alright, so I've filled the quartz, and I just cut it out because it just takes forever to fill that kind of thing in. And it's boring as. So surround that like that so i think that looks really modern like it's really like inviting i think and then i think what we'll do do i want to put walls on it or do i want i've got two choices here number one of oh, wait on me and number two is this so number one what we do is i put in like these oh. <laughs> perspective right um, I sort of put these in in spots, like there, 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 and there, and it sort of looks like it's holding that up, or, and then have stone bricks sort of below it on this lower part where the dirt is, or we do stone bricks all the way to the top, and we sort of fill this entirely in with stone bricks. See, it looks weird as like that, but then I could put like another lip on the side. You know, I think that'll just look better. It'll look more tunnel-like. So let's just place those down. This is like only a two-second job, so I'll stay with you for this. Like that one. And that one. And then we get the white again, and we run the white. Maybe I'll run the white on the bottom. So it just splits up the stone brick and the, ooh, like that. Yeah, then it splits up the stone brick and the, uh, and the clay. Um, top half of the clay. Like that. Run that around the front. Man, it's not easy to do. Uh, that one that one that one um i can't do that until i've got the thing in stone brick i lost them gotcha always get rid of the block i need it's just my thing isn't it okay and then we just change the um, the dirt to stone brick there, and that sort of makes the tunnel Ooh, up there. Up there. 
And maybe across the top just to hide that up. Yeah, I think that looks good. Wow, look at the sort of fake lighting. It looks like um, the fluorescent sort of lights that go down it. It's like the sun being able to go through the edges of the cracks and the slabs. That's really cool, actually. I really like that. Okay, now, can I be a genius and just copy and paste it over there so I don't need to build it all again? Because that would suck. <laughs> Let's go from there to there. And then I need to think of a really clever spot for me to stand. Like if I stand right here and I copy and I rotate by 180 and then I go over to this one and I place a block down there and I paste it there. And then I get rid of the rain. And then I take around these extra bits. And it's perfect. <laughs> okay, how cool does that look? I love it on the map. And I love it in real life. Real modern keeps with that um, racetrack feel. I know it's modern stuff right by the slums area. And you sort of have to drive through the sort of poverty almost, you know, start of beginner houses to get here. But I really like that, you know, this is going to be really popular with these guys anyway. And it's sort of maybe trying to help the area prosper uh, for, for them to be able to sort of, I don't know, more people to come by and help out and, and raise money to get these houses nicer. So they're building in this area. Really, really cool. So if we go from there and we go all the way down through the tunnel to there, we set 98. And then we go all the way up here. And I click there and I do the same thing. And then we do the same down this side. So I've got stone brick all the way down there. On the right. And then on this one, we go from there. And then I go all the way up. It's a long tunnel, isn't it? I don't realise how like far that goes. And then we need the top. You know, the top would be sick if we could keep as quartz. So if I like do that one to that one, set... Oh no, that's the actual land above, isn't it? Um, okay, no problem. Quartz. We're just going to have to sort of be a little bit careful. I'm going to do that. But I want to keep the... Um, I want to keep the sort of uh, a, a gentle incline like that. And so although it gets a little bit steep, it's still okay. And then that... This and then now I can go straight under here because that's I can tell that that's not the ground above. Set quartz. Right, uh, let me. Uh, no, I trust myself. I trust myself. So we have slab there, and that is the ground. So then I've got to come out here. Put that one down. Same as the other side, isn't it? I'm, I'm remembering now. That one. This one. That one. And then that one. Right, let's just go above here. Make sure I didn't... I can see on the map. Oh, apart from I can see stone bricks going straight through the middle of the road. <laughs> That's okay. That's no problem. We manually fix that. I didn't even see that pop up on the map when I done it. I wasn't looking. Okay. At least it didn't pop the carpets off and stuff. That would have been just annoying. Alright. There. Sand. Oh yeah, I remember now because it was a real pain to do because the sand kept falling into the tunnel. Yes. And then that's a green one. And that's a green one. And we're good. Okay. So there's the tunnel. Now what we need. Do I need the white lines going down there? I really should. I don't know why I don't. Uh, and now I just need to get some lighting in here, right? Fluorescent. Now you need to be sort of careful which ones we put these on because they're only going to touch on some of them. So we do that one and every other one. We just do a three. So that one, miss one, 
that one, miss one, that one, miss one, that one, miss one. I'm going to miss another one, and put that there instead. Okay, let me go to this side. Let me just do up here first. Always that one, that one. And then, miss one. Some, I believe, is that? Might not be completely the same. Because that should be in the middle, shouldn't it? Ah, it doesn't matter. Why does it do that? That's a different fluorescent. That one. Oop, miss one. That one, miss one. That one, miss one. That one. Okay, and then we're out, right? Okay, and then the middle will just join up. And the bottom here, let's go to the about the middle. Seems about the middle to me. And then we'll go about the middle again, because we don't need too many lights down here. And about the middle here. You can sort of tell where it goes dark with the shadow. Okay. And then we can see when we drive through the tunnel. All right, that's fine about the tunnel. I'm, I'm good there. Let's, uh, let's get these lines going down the other side. Why don't I have that? I thought it always looked a little bit bare, but I didn't know why. It looks too much like the racetrack, doesn't it? Maybe that's what I was thinking. We have two. Skip one. Those ones. Those ones. I wonder if there's a world at the command that allows you to alternate between blocks. Like to be able to do road strips just with a command. I've never heard of one before. That one. That one. That one. I don't think I need them any further. In fact, I might... Uh, there is diagonal ones. I don't know which ones I need though. I'll just grab them both. Wrong one. Like that. Just the one. And then we'll just do like a little bit of that. I don't need them going all the way down the middle though. Um, and then we take this away. And I put the, make this into a curve. I think I want that one there though. Like that. That's the right curve then. And then we'll do that one. That one. And that one. That one. That one. I should really have it going down the middle there too, shouldn't I? Do we have a middle point? I, I do. I still do. Two. One, two. One, two. One, two. There is, <laughs> there is no fast way that I know of to do it. That's why I usually just copy and paste whole um, road sections. And rotate them and stuff. When I'm building a, like a new area. That one. That one. That one. Just going to look so much neater, isn't it? And then that's the turn around bit on the top there. Uh, do I round that off a little bit? Just like a smidge. Like that. Just have it like a round bit. Yeah. Much, much better. Okay. Let's just put a little giveaway on there. Because it is a road at the end of the day. So we'll have... that like that um i need a stop sign as well i need to do them because uh it's just what we have in the city wool and i've already got the red on me still can't really see it because of the tree but who cares and what's happened here oh it's cut away that some of the tree no way oh i bet that's been like that for absolutely ages i didn't see a single comment about that though Must have been when I pasted 
No, it's like I, I've, it's like I copied the trees wrong when I originally copied them. They're fine on all the other sides. What about these ones? They're all fine. Oh, I bet I copied these ones where they've actually got... No, they're missing as well. What? Guys, you've done a bad job of letting me know this. I'm blaming you for this. <laughs> Share the blame with me. Okay. I don't know if I want to look anywhere. So they're natural trees, so that's fine. They're not custom-built ones, perfect ones. And neither of those. Okay, we're good then. Right, so there's the tunnel that leads through it. It's got a little bit of a curb that people can park their cars on the side of. Um, might be able to fit like a couple of houses and like a little walkway to a house down there, like with no driveway. And then I'd really like all of this to be like these kind of houses as well and really expand it out. And maybe even under the bridge, because I'm not going to be able to fit any. I'm not going to be able to build anything decent under here because of the, the um, motorway that runs on top. So filling them with, what is that little dot there? Filling them with those kind of houses is going to be really, really good. Hey, look at this! Look at me finding all the little bugs today. I'm stuck. Claustrophobic. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Fixing, fixing all little imperfections. Yeah, it'd be really nice to have like that area and maybe not all of this area, maybe like half of it, like along there with those style houses and over here probably and make a huge sprawling estate of, uh, of all those kind of, uh, of buildings. Like, I don't know if we went Oh yeah, that's where it goes into that. I thought it was a weird transition, but that is exactly how I actually done it originally. Um, like if we had like five blocks, set stone, three, four, five, set stone. So it's like a little road there, um, up this one. Do you want it off this road? Yeah, why not? So we have. I want to leave enough room for like a build for a little house and a little garden. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So you sort of go up there to the edge. We'll have a house at the end, so I don't want to go all the way. And then I'll have like uh, here. One, two, three, four, five. Something like that. And then one, two, three, four, five. Maybe a slightly different lengths to each other and stuff. That should be good. So I can fit like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, sixteen ish houses in there. Maybe, maybe a little bit less, maybe ten. I don't know how exactly it'll work like two or three down there one or two there and then off here we'll have obviously i know i need to take the curbs out at some point as well to load them down three, four, five. We sort of go i don't know i think i'll go probably out to there roughly just to sort of as far as the edge of the gun store and then one two three four five Like that. And then I might even loop this down. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And then that'll be all... All little sort of low residential houses. Plus it'll bump up the amount of actual houses there are in the city. Because there isn't really that many... Oops, zoomed in. There isn't really that many houses on the city, is there? There's a lot of apartments and skyscrapers to hop hold the houses but it's only a small sort of actual housing housing estate over there but yeah that's gonna look sick when it's all done up like this a bit overgrown and 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 hedgy and sort of tatty and stuff it'll be a real nice change to the rest of the city all right guys i'm gonna leave the episode there if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already feel free to subscribe we should see you in the next episode <laughs>